Hey guys, what's up? It's Megadan29. Today, we have a video that is a response to Nefarious Wes and his Top 3 Tuesday, where he took three games that he did not have as a kid, that as he's gotten back into collecting, have become three of his favorite games. So this is a tough one for me, man, because I got back into collecting probably 10 years ago, and I collect heavily for regular NES, Super Nintendo, and Genesis are probably my main ones. So narrowing down to three different ones only is tough because I have found a ton of gems over the time that I've gotten back into collecting. So I grabbed one from each system that I adore, and let's see what you guys think. And uh, for everybody who's made one, I will try to remember everybody's responsibility, and I'm going to throw it down in the description. So if you think it's a cool idea, definitely go watch those other people's Top 3 Tuesdays and make your own. And I would like to watch it. Watch it like this. Yeah. Let's jump into it. The first one that we're going to cover here comes from the Nintendo Entertainment System. Castlevania. Holy crap. I got it for a dollar. Yep. I did not play this or rent it as a kid. The only game we had because my dad bought it was Simon's Quest. I don't think I pursued the other Castlevanias because to me, they were games where you had to figure out where to go and to find items and stuff. I didn't really enjoy that type of game when I was little. I liked the straightforward kind of games that were usually left or right with the challenge right in front of me. I'd say still to this day, I seem to lean more towards that same type of game. Well. I would have loved the original Castlevania. I picked this up right when I got back into playing my retro games. I immediately fell in love with not only this game, but I wanted to play all of the games in the franchise. This game would have been loved by my brother and I when we were little. I still remember getting to the hallway before the Grim Reaper and how much I got my butt kicked. It made it so satisfying to finally not only beat death, but to go and kill Dracula. This game is easily one of my favorite games in the NES library, and the franchise is one of my favorites as well. The next one comes from SNES, and it's a goodie. It's a goodie. Sunset Riders. Check it out. Oh man, Sunset Riders. If my brother and I would have heard of this back in the day, we would have been all over it. This is a game that plays like a western cowboy contra with four different characters. I love how colorful the game is and all the animations going on. I also love how every hero has a different weapon. Characters have one pistol or two pistols, a rifle, and my favorite, two of the double barrel shotguns. I love the part where you run on the bulls also. The voiceovers in the game are absolutely hilarious, in a good way. It just screams old school retro arcade action. Marry me with my money. You can also play two player at the same time, which is what my brother and I would have been all over. It's too bad we didn't know about this badass game. I don't even remember ever seeing this game either. We would have for sure rented this one and then asked for it for Christmas time or birthdays. This game goes for about 50 bucks loose and is so much fun. This is a must play for any gamer in my opinion. And I know 50 seems like a lot, but do yourself a favor, spend the money this time, and get this somewhat rare game that is ridiculously awesome. My last one comes from the Sega Genesis. And I ain't afraid no ghost. I didn't have any of the Ghostbusters games growing up. As a matter of fact, I didn't even rent any of them or remember seeing them in magazines at the store. I started collecting heavily again about 10 years ago, and I played the Ghostbusters games on the NES. I always heard how good the Sega one was, so I bought it on eBay and started playing it. I quickly realized how much I missed out on this game. I love the fight with Marshmallow Man and just the overall battle system. There are tons of different ghosts to shoot, and I love the goofy art style of the characters in the game. I liked how you upgrade your stuff and need specific items like the flashlight in certain areas like levels that are dark. 
I also love how the characters play different with specific stats for each individual. This is another game that for some reason once again left out Winston. This goes for like 35 loose on eBay. If you like the Ghostbusters and you like platforming action games, then this is a must pick for you and I highly recommend it. Alright guys, well that was my three games that I did not have growing up that I got now that are sweet. So there's going to be many more of these. We could probably easily make a bunch of videos of this and someday maybe we'll revisit. But feel free to make a responsive video like I just did and I'd love to watch it. And I will add as many people as I can remember down in the description. You should really go check them out. Sub them all up. They're all good people. And this is a lot of fun. So um, whether you have a cell phone or you have a real camera or whatever you use to record, no reason you don't jump into this. Show us what you like. The more people, the better. And uh, I will see you later. Take it easy, guys. I'm a lonely man sometimes. Why am I talking to the camera right now? I'm wasting time. Why do I have to be so weird when I'm making these videos? I'm literally sitting here right now asking me this. Should I put this in the video?